yung uh, yes yes yung uh, orange yes the orange the the the, the slides ayan magiging discussion natin so um basically uh, the uh the this is actually what we call the ren shen no shen is represent it it's actually dragon pagdating sa animal so if you have a dog uh, sa chart mo there is a lot of uh, changes or changes or maraming mga activities that can happen within the this month if you're not prepared for it baka it might shock you or might you know shake oh, it to no. your core oh, oh. pero that's the reason why we look at body chart no? our patchy chart we use patchy chart to allow us to guide our our, our actions para yung everything hindi lang tayo magre-react in a nutshell no sa ating ating buhay our purpose is to actually plan our action para lang we allow ourselves or gives us the opportunity or control to achieve whatever we're trying to achieve in terms of our destiny no at the end of the day we are the one who chooses our destiny so we just simply use patchy chart to help us no to maneuver through the uh, unforeseen circumstances na how do we actually uh, um strategize my actions para lang mas madali ko ma-achieve yung goals ko and at the same time to manage the things that I uh, that that I can use or protect myself from mga unforeseen circumstances i hope i'm i'm clear in that aspect so, okay so for if for the dog kunwari if you have a dog in your chart particularly for your year this can stem as yung external environment mo marami nangyayari or this can stem as maraming petty issues that you may encounter o kaya naman um, yung uh, behavior ng market mo but if you're a business owner is magiiba and you have to adjust okay make adjustments same goes to sa month uh, this could uh, pertain to sa uh, interaction in the office o kaya yung finances no yun yung mga indication if we are actually a clashing animal in terms of that month ang kagandahan noon it's temporary. It's something that one month lang. So, hindi siya mm. nakaka-stress. Hindi ka tulad ng isang taon. But hopefully, no, if you have a dog in your chart, eh, na, meron ka ng pinaplanong pagbabago na ikaw na mismo ang gumawa para kay papano yung problema na tatahakin mo within this month is something that you actually want. No, mm. Ikaw mismo nagdisenyo. Okay. Anybody ba na may dog sa chart? Year or month? Wala. Wala. Go tiger and go. <laughs> Wala. Okay, okay. Miss Sha, si Miss Sha, do you have a dog? Uh, Wala, ma'am. Okay, good. So, okay, all right. So, this is for uh, sa mga taong merong dogs and shots. Okay, so, ang, ang gagawin natin forecast is always the day master, no? Ang pag-calculate po ng ating day master, ito po yung uh, QR code. Kung hindi po natin makita, please let me know or pa, hindi natin ma-plot yung yung patchy calculator i'll send you a link dito via the chat but basically uh, ang hahanapin po natin ito yung nakabilog ito yung day master natin so from now on pagka magkakaroon tayo ng forecasting palagi po natin i-refer ang hahanapin is yung mismong day master in this e example ang nakalagay is g earth okay so yung in, uh, in another term this is what we call the yin earth okay so yeah, yan ang ating day master. So, in the next uh, slide, sisimulan na natin ang ating uh, day master. So, if if you have any questions, no? If you have any... Yes. Okay, hold on. Chat. Yin fire. Okay, yin fire. So, yin fire is ding fire. So, ang aabangan mo dito sa ating forecast is ding fire. It's D-I-N-G. Okay? But in another term, yun ang tawag nating yin fire. Okay, good. All right. Meron ba ako na miss na chat? Okay, hi. Hi. Hey, hello. Ayan. Okay, so now we're going to start first the with the Yi uh, Jia Wood. No? This is for everybody na may day, day master na Jia Wood. Ang Jia Wood has indirect resource that is at, actually sitting on indirect wealth. So, ano ibig sabihin nito? Na there is opportunity sa mga jawood na hindi manggagaling sa uh, current work no sa current career kasi ang indirect resource can stem as uh, uh, sa labas ito ng office kumbaga kung empleyado tayo sa labas ito ng office this could mean uh, mayroong mga negosyo na pwedeng opportunities no pwedeng maging negosyo o kaya maging consultant 
Okay? Mga yung offer sa kanila. And usually, ang mag offer nito ay mga direct, re uh, direct resource. So, ano ibig sabihin ng direct resource pagdating sa layman's term? Usually, mga noble people. Okay? So, in a nutshell, you can see this month a little bit of busy when it comes to accepting new opportunities. However, unfortunately, no, meron tayong nakikita ng rub well. So, meaning, uh, may tendency na gumastos ang raw wood para lang ma-resolve ang isang problema. No? Case in point, uh, kailangan mong gumastos kasi para lang matapos mo yung trabaho mo. Something like that. Okay? So, yun yung uh, sa jaw wood. Right. Okay. Sa so, ye wood, anybody that has ye wood in their chart, they master, wala. Yin? Ah? Ye wood. Ye wood. It's a uh, yin wood. Yin wood? Yin wood. Snake? Snake. Ah, no, no. Yin wood lang. Sa, sa taas, sa upper portion ng, ng, ng day master. So, yung nasa taas siya. Remember the, the image a while ago. So, ye wood. Yun yung day master na ibibigyan natin forecast now. Okay? Mm. So, okay. so, anybody that has a ye wood? Um, is it the Let's go back to it. Ah, the day. The day. So, ye wood or yin wood? Yin wood. Okay. Yeah, yeah, si Miss Ruby. Okay, so yin wood. Uh, so, basically, ang yin wood. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Thank you. Okay, ma'am. Nasa baba po yung yin wood. Ah, okay, that's not part for us. Ang kailangan po natin pagdating sa day master, we always look at the upper part. Palagi yun ang upper part. Kasi yun sa baba, hindi na po siya kasama sa, uh, dito sa forecast natin. Although, pwede siya makita, but in particular sa ating general forecast, we only look at the upper part. Okay? Oh. So, ang reference natin, yung natal chart na day. Yes, correct. Natal okay. chart, day master. Uh, mm -hmm. Basically, ito itong uh, circled item ng ating natal chart. Okay? Mm -hmm. so, pagka usually, pagka may mga patchy consultant, usually yan ang tinitig, uh, binibigay na forecast. It's always the day master. Kasi mas, uh, mas accurate ito as compared sa animal. Okay? Mm -hmm. Alright. So, next naman, okay, before we proceed, okay. Okay, wood po ako na sa month. Yeah, okay, that's for month. Pero for the for the purpose of our webinar today is for the day master. Ang mm -hmm. ibig sabihin ng day master natin, no, it uh, refers to ourselves, the way we think, our spouse, or minsan ang ating bahay. O kaya naman, mm -hmm. pwede din pumasok dito ang ating best friend. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay, so for the for the month of April hanggang May, ang Lee Wood, no, ang anticipation ng Lee Wood is maraming tutulong sa kanya to actually offer for career, no? May mga mag-offer, mga noble people na mag-offer ng opportunities for work. O kaya naman, kasi meron tayong direct resource and direct wealth. So, ang ibig sabihin ng direct resource, once again, it's nobleman. Uh, tapos, ang direct wealth, ito naman yung mga career natin, no? Yung mga swe ito yung mga uh, uh, employment in a nutshell. Or yung mga trabaho or career na pinaghihirapan natin pagtrabahuhan. So, in a nutshell, you don't direct wealth. My effort, strong effort on our side, that's why it's direct wealth. Okay, so, uh, however, no, this indirect resource, uh, this could stem, uh, the, the, the offer could be some, uh, somewhere na hindi outside your scope or beyond your scope pagdating sa career. Okay? O kaya naman, this another opportunity is on top of your current work. Okay, yung in-offer ng mga direct resource mo. And uh, magkakaroon kadalasan ng, since my uh, friend ang Yee Wood, mas active ang, uh, what you call this, um, interaction with your friends and family. Okay? So para mas magkakaroon ka na, uh, uh, mas, uh, mas active ka to socialize pagdating sa Yee Wood. Okay? So my advice, no, uh, pagka may Yee Wood tayo sa Day Master, get out and um, get out or social like get out of your shell okay do the daring uh this daring activity wherein you are going to um go out and mingle <laughs> okay wag tayo maging shy shy for the month of ano but para ma maximize natin yung stars for the year okay so for being fire 
uh, the next one is the Ding Fire. Pero ito, this is the Yang Fire. So, yung next, uh, ano natin, uh, what we call this, slide is going to be um, yung Ding Fire para sa'yo. Okay, so for the Bing Fire, seven killings and eating God. Now, seven killings, usually kinakatakutan nito. Okay? Kinakatakutan ito ng kadalasan ng mga tao kasi ang seven killings, no, if hindi ito auspicious, nagiging either accident, nagiging ano ito, accident o kaya problema, litigation, no? Timandahan, arguments. Lahat actually ng problema na sasakop yung seven killings. However, if you know how to actually utilize this very well, this becomes power and authority. Okay? Meaning, in order for you to actually achieve that power and authority, kailangan mong tahakin, no? And we're willing to face the challenges. You have to go through the problem. Okay? So, ang Bing Fire, ganun po ang kanyang month ngayon. Medyo sunod-sunod ang problema. But the good thing is, um, meron siyang eating God. So, because of their ability to produce, no? Uh, hard work, their ability to create, no? Or to think and go beyond, masosolve lahat ng mga problems nila by their own effort. Okay? So, creativity, uh, output, working hard, ayan. Okay? Yan ang maganda kay being fire. And the good thing, uh, the good part about itong month ng being fire, meron siyang direct officer. So, pagka ang may direct officer, this can stem as authority. And it's hidden. So, meaning, kailangan mag-step up ang isang being fire para lang ma resolve itong mga problem nito at makita yung beneficyo ng mga problema nito as authority later on. No? Nakikita ang skill set nila. Okay. Alright. Okay. Mahaba siya. Okay. Alright. Next naman. Uh, for Ding Fire. Okay. Okay. Hi, ma'am. Yung anak ko po is five years old on their Bing Fire. Ah, uh, no. No. Usually, well, it depends on their chart. No? Makikita natin sa natal chart nila kung saan nagsisimula yung age ng kanilang late ng patch chart. No, others kasi nagsisimula 9, nagsisimula 7. So, it's best to check kung saan. Doon sa lock pillar, yung mga per 10 pillars. Pag wala pa, pag uh, after 5 years old, ibig sabihin hindi pa po applicable ito. Pero uh, kahit actually applicable pa sa, I don't think she'll be able to use it yet. No? Kasi, oo, oh, oh, one month lang naman. Okay? Alright. Okay, so for the ding fire na ng ngayon, ito na yung yin fire na tinatawag natin, no? Ang yin fire naman is authority. Uh, meron tayong direct officer, no? Uh, tapos may hurting officer. So a lot of attention can be given to you. Ngayon, if you don't like attention, of course this becomes unwanted attention. And one thing I always ano, no, when I see a hurting officer, I always tell people, gamitin mo to to showcase your skills. All eyes on you, minsan lang naman yan. Diba? All eyes on you. Di, pakitang gilas ka na. And the more yung pakitang gilas, the more nakikita yung capabilities mo. Now, in order to uh, address all the problems for the month, no, nitong ding fire, kailangan gumawa ka ng sistema. Create a system in place para hindi ka ma-overwhelm sa sunod-sunod na problema ang pumapasok. Okay? Unfortunately, for the ding fire, yung mga pumapasok, unforeseen ang mga problema, no? Nagugulat ka na, may ganito pala akong problema. Now, para lang hindi tayo ma-overwhelm, create a system. Para mag, mas madali maging life integration. Okay? Sabi nga ng teacher ko, ang ano, ang, there's no such thing as uh, work-life balance. That's no, there's no such thing. You should be able to integrate them together para mas maging fulfilling ang inyong life at at the same time na fulfill mo yung uh, purpose mo at the same time, maximizing the time that you have with your family or your loved ones. Okay? Alright. Questions? Baka meron kayo mga concern that you want to ask what's going to happen this month. Ay, sorry. None? None. Kaya pa? Kaya pa i-press? Ano? I-process. Okay. Alright. So, next naman, we're going to go to... Okay, meron tayong chat. Yes, for April to hanggang May 5. Iba-iba po ha, uh, lalo na yearly basis, iba-iba ang starting point ng kada buwan. Okay, so hindi siya like April 1. Unforeseen problem, yes. Based on the ding fire, merong mga, merong kang head, hidden seven killings. No? 
seven key links na pwedeng hindi mo akalain you have this problem, bigla na lang siyang sisipot. Okay? O kaya naman, uh, pwede naman siguro ito, no, if it's you're using it positively, ang seven key links, this could stem as uh, magkakaroon kayo ng power and authority from your own efforts, no, unforeseen. Oh, ang paano makaiwas ng problema? Hindi po tayo makakaiwas ng problema. Our life is filled with problems. The only way, no, para ma-handle natin ang mga problema is to be better than our problems. Okay? Now, how do we become better than our problems? It's by educating ourselves. Knowing the know-hows, no, doing your own research. How to actually manage these problems. O kaya, you can also ask support from your friends and family. Okay? Para mabigyan kayo ng sufficient advice. Okay? It's education and becoming bigger than your problem. Thank you, Ms. Sha. Okay. All right. So, next is um, sa Woo Earth. Woo Earth tayo, no? Si Woo Earth naman, meron mga wealth opportunity. Pero hindi to long term, ha? Short term ito. Pwede to mag-form as bonus. Sana bonus. O kaya uh, ayuda. O oh, ayuda. Kasi galing ito sa friend. So basically, baka family and friend magbigay ng ayuda kay Woo Earth. So if sa ano, po. <laughs> ah, yan, bonus, baka bonus ito. I love it. <laughs> uh, is it same ma'am for the Woo Young Earth? Woo Young. And Woo Young, yes, it's Young Earth. Correct. Tama Thank you. Mo. Thank you. Yes. Woo. Ayan, may bonus si Miss Margie. I love it. Okay. <laughs> Okay, bonus ayan from your friends and then you'll be able to get further uh, support from your friends and family. In addition to that, no, para ma-maximize natin ang month, I want you to also pay attention sa pag-socialize. Socialize, build your network ha, for the rest of uh, April and May. Maximize natin ito. Kasi if this uh, further opportunities can even come from your network. Okay, and this is going to be a very busy, and I love being busy sa panahon ngayon, no? Being busy is always a blessing. It's always a blessing mm -hmm. pagka sa busy tayo ngayon. So, indirect wealth and direct wealth. Kaliwat kanan ang opportunities <laughs> ni Miss Margie. I love it. <laughs> Ayan, very good. So, socialize, socialize para maximize natin yan. And then create okay. a system in place. Since magiging busy tayo, create a system in place also, no? Para uh, hindi kayo ma, ma, mag-guilty pag napabawasan tayo ng orders with family and friends. So create a system in place para ma-integrate natin lahat. Okay. Alright. Yes. Kaling naman. Happy to hear. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Alright. For ano naman, G-Earth. This is what we call the Yin Earth. Okay, yin earth ang tawag natin sa G earth. So basically, no, how to, how, anong pwedeng mangyari kay G earth? Now, G earth, I want you to pay attention, no, para maalam mo kung paano ang gagawin natin sa month na ito. Okay, sa month na ito can be a bit stressful dahil sa competition. Competition in a sense na parang feeling mo, eh, maraming mong kaaugaw sa trabaho or marami na sadong nagpapakitang gila sa trabaho no na na-overpower tayo no so the only way para we go beyond this this uh, this the situation is the best way for you is gumawa ka ng mga activities na hindi ginagawa ng inyong competition that's the only way you're going to beat your competition is to give more service and at the same time uh Hindi, gumawa ka ng mga activities na hindi nila ginagawa. No? Stand out. That's the only way you're going to beat that competition. Okay? Uh, but the good thing about that, because of that ability to uh, yung mag, uh, going beyond no, ng capabilities ng competition mo, is magkakaroon din to ng opportunities on the side. No? It's probably because nakikita yung capabilities mo. So, mas magkakaroon ka ng op other opportunities on the side. Okay, uh, and then there's a seven uh, hidden seven killings. So yung mga mga side trip of problem. Okay, magkakaroon tayo. Okay, but of course, again, to be bigger than our problem is to educate ourselves at all times. We always have to do our research. Okay, para o kaya humingi tayo ng tulong sa iba. Okay, alright. Next. 
si Gang Metal, alright, si Gang Metal. Si Gang Metal, meron siyang eating god indirectly source. So, ano ibig sabihin nito? Meaning, parang mas matindi ang hunch feeling ng mga Gang Metal for the month of April and May. Tapos yung instinct nito, para mapapansin niya, mas creative sila, mas kailangan mag-produce ng, uh, mas, mas nakakapag-produce sila ng ideas, o kaya naman, this is a time kung saan mag-recreate sila ng negosyo, no? O kaya may opportunity mag-open sila ng negosyo, uh, na outside no ng kanilang uh, specific scope pagdating sa kanilang career or outside of employment no parang ganun siya or additional stream of income in a nutshell okay masyado kong complicated in explain yun. but anyways all right so and dahil dito uh, he may or the person may actually experience a lot of attention uh, siguro dahil nga may bago siyang binukas and because of efficient marketing people tend to notice and again i always love her thing officer kasi nga this gives us the opportunity to get that publicity ng effortless. So, kailangan mo na lang is magpakitang gilas lalo. Okay? Alright. Next naman for the sin metal, hurting officer and direct result. Uh, most, no, ito, ito, ito ulit, nasa hurting officer tayo. Ang kagandahan nito, no, hurting officer and direct result is ang makakapansin sa kanya is mga noble people. Mas mapapansin ng efforts nila, no? Uh, for the month of April and May, uh, from either sa workplace nila or mga noble people that support and believes in their capability. So again, pag hurting officer, pag ka hurting officer, I may embrace mo the attention. Always pakitang gilas. Okay? Huwag kahayaan mo na yung mga petty, petty cheesies, whatever. At least ikaw ang pinag-uusapan. Na? So the fact na ikaw ang pinag-uusapan, it makes you an important person. Kasi you're worthy of their attention. All right. Next naman is for the rainwater. Rainwater, ito yung tinatawag natin young water. Okay? Ito yung young water na tinatawag natin. Uh, however, no, uh, for the rainwater, lalong-lalo na kung madami tayong seven feelings sa ating chart, i iwasan po muna natin lumabas. Kasi may friends and seven feelings. Seven feelings, kung hindi natin alam kung paano itong gamitin ng tama, ha, as power and authority, this can stem as... Uh, cuts and bruises. O kaya naman accident. Okay? So, iwasan natin, no? Mag, uh, to ma mag-travel o kaya naman to go to places that are mo very dangerous. Okay? Or better yet, no? I think itong lockdown may extend yata ito hanggang April 30. Tama ba? I'm not so sure. <laughs> Kung sakali man, ayan na, di mag-stay at home ka na muna mag-ECQ. Okay? Alright, for the rent water. Ayan lang, uh, for the rent water, iwas-iwas sa mga uh, expenses, because this is a month where you actually have to spend in order to solve something. Or, uh, pwede tayong humarap sa mga problema pagdating sa kaagaw. Okay? Kaagaw pagdating sa uh, or competition. Okay? Alright. And last but not the least, pagdating sa ating day masters is the GUI water is rob wealth over direct officer. So, ano ibig sabihin na to? Ibig sabihin na to is meron kang kaagaw uh, pagdating sa authority, okay? O kaya sa status mo. So, ano yung sabihin nun? Ang kagan The best way to actually manage this is to actually collaborate with others. Collaborate and work with others. Ibigay mo na yung responsibilidad. Ipasa mo na, no? Kesa hayaan mo yung universe ang magbawas ng authority mo. Kasi pag binawasan ka ng authority, ibig sabihin, hindi ka na ganun ka importante. So, better na ikaw muna na lang magpasa, no? I-delegate mo in a nutshell. And of course, for the Greek water to maximize this month, it's best to actually uh, socialize. Uh, this uh, socializing will help you create or get generate more ideas para sa mga problem natin na encounter natin for this month. Alright? Question sa day masters. Young Earth. Oh, yan. Young, oh, young Earth is my daughter and she's 17 years. Then this may apply. Yes. Yeah. Oo, pwede. Okay. Great. Wala tayong question. Everything's clear. Okay, meron pa tayong question. Welcome. Thank you. Ayan. Okay. Thank you. Welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, joining me, no, dito. Akala ko talaga walang mag-a-attend. <laughs> And then, I, and then I realized ko na parang 
feeling ko mas nakakahiya mag-ask ng questions sa Facebook, lalo na konti pa lang ang viewers ko. So that's why I created this Zoom to make it more uh, pleasant no, to ask questions. Okay? Alright. Okay, now we're going to go to the feng shui part of this month. Okay, so feng shui naman, um, ito ang ating uh, monthly chart natin. So kung papansinin po natin, ang flying star 2, which is the illness star, is going to be located in the southeast sector. Okay, yung baliliit po, no, ang monthly stars, ang ibig sabihin niyan, eh monthly, dyan po maglaland ang uh, star sa sector na yan, ano? It's temporary, so it's not really permanent. Pero ang pinaka-permanent po, na permanent, kung magay annual stars po natin yung mas malaki na number. Okay, I'll, take, I'll try to annotate. So, ito ang annual, ito yung monthly. Okay, so pagdating sa, uh, sa forecasting ng ating monthly, ang tinitignan po natin ito, actually yung relationship nitong dalawa. Yan yung po yung ating reference point para ano yung mga vibration na matatanggap natin sa ating uh, sectors on a monthly basis. Okay, so uh, not good to activate si uh, Southeast sector kasi andyan po si Flying Star 2. Uh, pero pagdating naman dito sa west, uh, yung 5 and 8, no? actually the 5 and 8 is a good combination. As a matter of fact, ang combination, lalo na pag long term ang feng shui ang pinag-uusapan natin, ang 5 and 8 combination is um, the combination that um, that allows a millionaire to turn into a billionaire. O parang ganun siya. Galang kasi, before you actually get there, you're going to go through a lot of adversities first. But all the 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 risks are 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 uh, worth it, kumbaga. Okay, so yan yung five and eight. So five and eight is still a good uh, combination to activate. Pero yun lang for this month, makakaramdam tayo ng pressure. Inauna na ako sa ano? Okay, so for the for the north, okay, for the for the north, this is actually a good month to decide. No, lalo lalo na pag nating sa real estate. If you're trying to close a deal, uh, this is actually a good uh, month to make decisions. No? Kung, kung kunwari meron kayong pinag-iisipan na real estate, north, mag-stay kayo sa north. It will be, help you no, to make the right decision as to what property should I purchase. Tennis, tennis, tennis. Okay. Alright, go. Don't All take right. on that, please. <laughs> okay, ma'am. Sorry. Uh, noted on that, Miss Sophie, ah. because um, currently we're looking. <laughs> ah, you're looking right now, I know. Apa, apa. <laughs> oh, oh, sana all. <laughs> sana po within the year. It's been a project up all since last year, the mapot. And then, um, right now, we're in a coming year. And then, sabi ko, ibahin natin yung position natin. Kasi the north area namin. Hmm. Where's the north? <laughs> Sorry. Hmm. Yeah, in order kasi namin, uh, ayan, kitchen na po namin. <laughs> di ba? Ah, kitchen. Oo nga, you remember oh, kitchen po. nga siya. Siguro at least, at least one hour a day, mamumuni-muni dyan, gano'n. Yes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Habang nagugas ng pinggan, I'm watching your vlog or anything. Ay, I love oh, it. Ganun. I love it. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> okay pa. <laughs> thank you, ayan. At least alam na, Ayan for, ayan, for example po ni Miss Margie, no, for the month of North. This is why we use Feng Shui. Exactly why we use Feng Shui. It's for us to achieve the small uh, small goals or successes. No? And even patchy. We don't aim just for the big one. We actually aim for the small one because the, achieving the small successes builds our confidence, builds our uh, self-respect at the same time. At the same, at same time, parang mas nagkakaroon tayong confidence to conquer bigger goals. No? So we start with the small. Don't overwhel so overwhelm yourself with the big one. So that's how we do it. Sector by sector on a monthly basis and then look at your bat patchy chart. Okay. Alright. So for uh, the... Yes. Okay. Hi. Yes, there is... Uh, no, there is... There is... Uh, sorry, I couldn't see your name. Hindi ko maintindihan ba't hindi nag... Uh, ano yung mga name nyo, but dito sa chat, uh, but uh, yes, there's a, a rewind. Maano to sa Facebook, ay sa Facebook, sa YouTube, so, sa YouTube siya. Pero, uh, yeah, no, but thank you so much for, for giving me the opportunity to share with you. No? Sa, sa YouTube, that's sa ano siya, andun yung ating recorded. Okay? Okay. Ayan. Okay. Ay, thank you so much po. Ay, yes! Sino it? Sayang, hindi ko makita ang mga names nyo dito sa chat. Ano ba yan? Bakit ganun? 
Oh, Misha, Misha, Misha is on, no? Yeah, Misha. Okay, thank you. Yan, yes. All right, thank you. Okay. So, for the East, ayan. For the East sector naman tayo, no? This is actually good, lalong-lalo na pag may students tayo. Students at nahihirapan makaprocess ng information sa pag-aaral. I understand this online school is driving them crazy, not only the students, even the parents. Now, the one way for uh, the one way to help, no, yung mga parents is mas mabilis ma-process ng mga students. So let them stay in the east sector para sa pag-aaral nila. Or if you're trying to find or learn something new, no, this is also yes, east is for academic. This is also a good month to learn something that you want to improve on your skill set, like uh, how to sell, no, how to yes, anything that you want to do para lang mas magkaroon tayo ng further value sa sarili. You use this month, okay? Uh, and I've I've seen I've witnessed this east, uh, actually not east, the flying star four. Sorry, flying star four. I've witnessed this many times, and I love it so much because mas mabilis ko nga na process yung uh, information. And on top of that, uh, because I'm also combining another sectors, mas mabilis ko ma implement no in my life yung the learnings that I get gather from the academics or the things that I learn. Uh, it's all, always the thing that I do. I always try to improve myself every day. Okay? So, para lang, eh, nakakapagdagdag ako ng further value to others. Ayan. Okay, so, Northeast. Okay, so, this is a good month to talk about or think about investment. Pero, uh, this is not really a good month para sa mga babae. Lalo na, kapag meron tayong pre-existing na uh, condition pagdating sa heart, o kaya sa mata. Okay? So, may pre-existing condition tayo sa mga yan. Uh, iwasan po muna natin ang Northeast. Next month ka na, or sa ibang lugar ka na lang, or next, ibang months ka na lang mag-isip ng investment, if investment ang gusto mong gawin. Okay? Pero, if you're a man, and uh, you're looking for good investment, this is a month to actually do that. And how do you actually do that? It's by sitting in the sector, tapos you do your, your research. That's how I... I get no the opportunities. I do research, o kaya makikipag-usap ako sa mga tao, and so on and so forth. Sa isang sector, para lang mas ma-absorb ko yung vibration. Okay? Or yung effect of activating a sector. Okay, next. Sorry, meron tayong question. Can I superimpose this part of feng shui sa room ko po? Yes, definitely. Definitely, yes. I would advise that. So, mas madali inyong uh, mas madali yung ma practice or makita rather kung saan ang mga sectors na ito. Okay, the seven scaling sector. Oh, seven scaling is actually in the patchy chart, no? Pero in terms yung counterpart ng seven scalings natin sa Feng Shui, it's the Flying Star 5. Okay, that's uh, misfortune. Okay, the misfortune. So, iiwasan natin ang Flying Star 5 sa buong taon, which is the Southeast sector. Okay? Alright, tapos, ah, uh, Another din pala, that seven killings up. When it comes to argument, this is the flying star three. Pero kung maganda naman ang external form nyo, no, ang flying star three, which is in the north sector, this can push, ah, sorry, north sector, southwest. Sorry, stand corrected. Sorry, last year pa yun yung north, no? So, so for 2021, ang flying star three po natin ay nasa southwest. Kung external po natin ay maganda, this can transform into confidence. Pero kung pangit po ang external natin, this can cause arguments. Okay? Alright. Alright. Okay, noted. Alright. So, now, ngayon, let's go to the West. West sector naman, uh, when it comes to, if you're looking for a new opportunity, side gigs, yung mga prospect leads, no? lalo na pag nasa sales tayo, West sector ang i-activate. However, no, pag inactivate mo to Tang kailangan tanggapin mo na mapo-pressure ka. Okay? Kasi marami kang gustong achieve na goals. So, medyo pressuring itong West Sector kasi uh, this is the 5 and 8 combination. Like I mentioned a while ago, when it comes to the 5 and 8, ito yung combination that turns a millionaire into billionaire. Pero of course, hindi siya mangyayari in one month. <laughs> oh, hindi siya mangyayari sa one month. Ang ibig sabihin lang dito is that in order for you to actually thrive through this com uh, this combination, you have to accept pressure as part of it. Pressure, adversity, pain points, and everything. Because once you do, yung kapalit nun malaki. Okay? 
Okay, para so wag niyo isipin billionaire kayo kagad in one month. So, baka na ano na kayo doon. All right. So, okay, so na Southwest. Okay, so this is a good month when it comes to cl closing deals, no? Yes. Yes, West combination for this month is 5 and 8. Okay, so kapag i-activate nyo po ito, tanggapin nyo pong may pressure kayong tatanggapin, ha? Embrace nyo po sila. Pag na-embrace nyo naman sila, mas madali nyo makikita yung mga solusyon. Kasi na-process mo na eh. Ah, mahihirapan ako this month na to. Pero I can handle it. Okay? Alright. So, so yan. Okay, so for the Southwest, going back to the Southwest, uh, this is a good month to settle deals and contracts, no? Pero... Kapag pangit po ang external form po natin sa Southwest, may mga shaki, may pointed arrow, may basura, ayan. This can actually activate fire. Okay, ano ibig sabihin ng fire? Fire accident. Yes, so uh, kung ganun po ang external po natin sa Southwest, maging alert po na lang po tayo, be proactive, no? Uh, kung kaya naman natin takpan ang shaki with a plant or a tree, by all means. Okay? Pero kung hindi, be, be proactive. Tanggalin lahat ng saksakan, no? The night before you go to bed. Okay. What are those? External form. Kunwari mga pangit. May patusok, no? Uh, may patusok. Even barbed wire is actually not a good one. Um, yung kanto ng mga bubong, nakatusok doon, yan, pointed yan, shaki. We call that shaki o kaya naman may poste. No, pangit yung poste. O kaya naman, tambakan ng basura. Ayan, that's a bad form. Mga bad feng shui ang tawag. Kumbaga. Alright, so iwasan natin. Tapos, ayan, uh, also, no, if you're also activating ito, however, kunwari, uh, you're just activating the southwest, this can naman turn you into someone that's argumentative, mainitin ang ulo. So, kung mainitin na ang ulo nyo, eh, iwasan natin ang southwest. Baka mas lalo pang iniinit ang ulo natin. Which can cause and create arguments. And, and of course, argument is an additional problem that we have to face. Tama na ang problema, di ba? Mas, mas magandang ipro, uh, problemahin natin ang mga things that are important. No, ayun. Okay, so South. Okay, South. Fame and publicity, ayan. Lalo na kung vlogger tayo. Uh, fame and publicity o kaya naman artista. Gusto nating sumikat lalo and we want to maximize this entire month. Then South is the month, a sector that we activate. So publicity, no? Uh, ayan, entertainment, ayan. Media, ayan. This is a good month to activate. Kasi the more uh, exposure we get, the more clients we get. Alright. Okay. All right, now to southeast. Okay, so, ayan, for the southeast po, no, andito po ang main door natin. Andito ang main door natin, o kaya dito ang kwarto natin, ang workplace. Eh, lumipat muna tayo, no? Lumipat muna tayo kasi magkakaroon ito, magpo-cause ito ng dip in sales, pababa ang sales, or, or worse, no, loss of income. Iwasan muna natin ang southeast, ha? Iwasan muna natin ang Southeast. Ulitin ko, iwasan natin ang Southeast. Okay, iwasan natin ang Southeast for the month. Uh, at ilipat tayo dun sa ibang sector na pwede mag-fulfill ng ating goals. Okay. Next is the Northwest. Ayan. Northwest naman, uh, medyo ito, prone tayo. Kasi Northwest is where the communication is. no? And um, unfortunately, uh, dito po eh, sa month na ito, pag hindi tayo nag-aalaga or nagmamanage ng ating the way we speak, no, this can contribute to on offending others. And when we offend others, not all are willing to forgive. Minsan yung ino pa ila ilalim ka pang lalabanan, di ba? So, bakit pa natin hihintayin yun? So, be patient na lang, no? Ano, consume nyo yung power of patience as ma many as you can para lang i-control ang ating mga dila at para wala tayong ma-offend. Okay? Pero pagdating sa blogging o kaya sa media and entertainment, this is actually a good sector kasi magkakaroon ng increase or change, positive change, sa month ng April. Okay, sa so Southwest main door. Okay, make sure lang po sa Southwest natin, eh, wala pong external form na bangit. Okay? On top of that, just being proactive. Tanggalin lang natin yung mga saksakan sa gabi. 
to manage yung mga yung in, ating uh, external no or, or, or environment rather okay so kung wala namang pangit na form okay lang yan okay 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 thank you thank you other questions about the feng shui or patchy 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 reading concerns Hello? No more na. Wala kang question. Southwest is the master's bedroom. Okay, if the southwest is the master's bedroom, medyo tapos dito tayo natutulog with spouse, medyo baka magkaroon tayong a little bit more of argument. Okay? Kung hindi naman ganun kapangit ang ating external form, malinis naman, maayos naman, then basically magkakaroon ng a little bit of argument. Okay? So how do we manage that? Just staying patient. Okay, patience. And the fact that you're aware of this at least allows you to be in control of your emotions. Okay? Other questions? None. Wala na. South East, iwasan na. Iwasan ng South East muna. Uh, uh, Miss Sophia? Yes, yes. Miss Marie. Apa. Um, regarding lang po, po sa South, uh, South East, mm -hmm. uh, kasi meron lang kami ilalagay sana banda dito na parang um, cabinet kung saan pwede namin ilagay other. Okay lang ba yun mag-ayos uh, sa South? Sa South East? Uh, Oo. Uh -oh. Let's do a positive date. If um a positive date is actually to tomorrow at saka og I pig no pig tayo sorry. Anong year po natin? Let's see. Year of the ox. Year of the ox and okay hobby. Rabbit. Rabbit. Ay okay sorry hindi pwede pala. Okay so uh uh April 12th, it's a good day to actually uh, move. Move. Because the, the animal is good for both of you. Move okay. muna lang sa southeast. Uh, para hindi natin ma-activate yung 5 and 2. Thank you. Uh, move lang naman siya and then hindi naman po kami mag-construct ng anything. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah, okay na yun. Yeah. But you know, just be safe. Thank para you. Lang. Uh, okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yung Ayan, move in date, ma'am, for April. Okay, so what are the year animals that you have in the family? Meron, uh, monkey, all right. What else? Dragon. Mm -hmm. Monkey and dragon lang? Oh, so easy. Oh, so easy. Okay, so... April 10 is a good day. Um, April 12 is also a good day for move in. Okay, and then April 22. April, ayan, ayan daming, and daming yung option, I love it. April 10, uh, April 24, ayan, April 10. Okay, ayan, okay, April 10. Yeah, April 10 is a good day. Ayan, okay. Good. Okay. Um, pag a move in pala, no, what's the sign of a move in? Uh, uh, when it comes to move in, ito yung mga rituals na pwede yung mong gawin. A move in is, um, ang sign of move in is the first night you're going to sleep there. Okay? Hindi po yung pasok ng gamit. Ha? Ulitin po natin, hindi po ito yung unang pasok ng gamit. Unang pasok ng gamit pwede kahit any specific day. Basta pag kayong araw na mis mismo matutulog kayo, is eight, yung April 10. Tapos, ang maganda, ang huli nyo pag move in is yung kutsyon. Okay? So, pag huling-huli, pag pinasok na yung kutsyon, that's official that you're ready, uh, move in. Uh, tapos, uh, pagdating din, uh, before sana when you're actually going to do some move in, you cook something sweet. Uh, what do you mean by something sweet? Ang pinakamura na pwede nating isipin yung saba na may brown sugar. Ayan. Pakuluin mo lang sa dorm. Kailangan lang maglinger yung scent. Uh, Tapos make sure nobody fights. Okay? So, sermonal mo na lahat bago pumasok. No? Bawal mag-sungit. Kailangan all happy. Kailangan all happy. 
po. Kailangan nyo magalit dito sa labas mag- before we enter, yung mga ganyan. Tapos magpatugtog kayo. So, kailangan the vibration is very as positive as po- possible. Maganda if you also have a housewarming party then if you are able to do that. Okay. Okay. Um, quest- I hope that's clear, no, sa move-in. Okay, so my room is located in the southwest corner. I can't switch room either. I've been avoiding the renovation and noise here. Any tips on how I can counter the bad luck this year? The started a company this year so far stable naman po. Oh, congratulations! Uh, uh, ano, nag-open ka na ng business, you know? Um, pag sa Southwest, may positive side ang Southwest. And I think this is also something that you currently need, which is confidence. Uh, in facing the... Hi, Ma'am Sophie. Sorry, Southeast po pala. Southeast? <laughs> Southeast. I'm sorry. <laughs> Southeast. Uh, Southeast. Pero hindi ka makamove. Ano, lagay ka ng, ano, ng 6 metal, 16 kilos. So, ang gawin mo, kunwari, ano... Hindi na, mahalang ano eh, metal plates, yung sa gym, yung mga gamit. Opo, um, gym, ano? actually parang uh, napanood ko po yan dun sa YouTube channel nyo, or nabasa ko po dun sa group. Oh, Bale, yung po lahat ng dumbbells namin dito ko na nalagay. Dilagay niyo specific day? Um, I'm not sure what day it was, pero it's before Chinese New Year. Ah, it was Chinese New Year. Okay, mm-hmm. pag positive day naman, tas positive hour, tas hindi nakaklash sa'yo, then... It's actually good na. That's a good way to mitigate. Although it's mitigate, ha? When we talk about Opa. mitigate, it reduces. It's not entirely. Yes. So, I, I think this is, uh, yung, yung South, it has its own positive traits naman. Although it's going to be painful, siguro at least na mitigate. Kung kung ano man yung mga challenges, everything naman. Like, there's this saying that in every adversity, that's where millionaires are made. And sometimes the adversity Aww. is where, yes. Is where we become more desperate, no? And when we become more desperate, the more we become resourceful and we become more uh, receptive, no? Sa mga opportunities. So that's one way that you can use that, ano? Uh, just use this time to learn the ropes. Kung painful man yan, learn the ropes, activate the four, para lang to give you more information and embrace that uh, that the feeling of uh, being desperate because then yung desperation is what makes up people achieve higher heights in their life because they're able to open their mind, be more as creative. I hope I'm making sense, but... Yes, yeah. yes, yes. Yeah. I love everything that you just said. Thank you so much, Paul. Okay, okay good. Good to hear, Alexander. Yes, thank you. Yan. Okay. All right, Southeast. Okay, so correction. Yan. Okay, thank you for the correction. Any other questions? Wala na. I hope you learned. Ma'am Sophia, question. Yes. Yes. Ma'am, dun sa moving in ko tomorrow, mm. pero nag-sleep na, nag-sleep na kami dun ng April 1. Oy, bakit? <laughs> <laughs> pero yung lipat ko talaga, bukas pa. Pero yung kutsyon na gamit nyo na sa April 1? Nung April 1, nagamit na namin yung kutsyon, yes. <laughs> pero pinalitan ko ulit. Pwede bang palitan ng bago yung kutsyon? Yes, bago siya, ma'am. Bagong-bago siya? siya. Oo. Pero okay. pinalitan ko siya kasi maliit yung size niya. So, after April 1, binalik namin. Tignan so, bago yung kutsyon. Bago yung kutsyon. Tingnan ko yung ano, yung April 1. Baka naman pwede na. Ah, pwede na. Pwede na si ano. So, ang gawin pwede. mo na lang, ah, pwede naman si Mao. Eh, sorry, dragon at saka monkey, no? Yeah, pwede na. Yes, ma'am. Dragon and monkeys ang nakatira. Okay, average lang sa <laughs> So, pero ang gawin mo na lang sa April 10, mag, ayun, doon ka mo yung, mag, ano ka na, housewarming party. Or another ritual also that you can do pag move in, um, hawa kayo ng coin, another, this is a ritual ha, this is a ritual. Yes. Uh, coin and then uh, sage on the other side. So, that's another. Change? Uh, sage. Sage or um, yung sinusunog na stick. Ah, okay. Uh, yung pang Chinese? Yeah, in terms of yeah, yes. sage. <laughs> O kaya naman, if you don't have that, another, uh, this one though, uh, this is uh, an old practice. This is not yes. actually part of uh, feng shui. You know? This is just a ritual before na mga tradition. Na Indian, mm-hmm. mga Indians, what they do is they burn the salt. Uh, kailangan sea salt. 
So, ibablalagyan okay. mo lang ng so, kailangan may pe, may ano ka yung lutuan, no? Na pwede mo. Okay. Na, oo, tapos lagyan mo ng salt, ng ilalagay mm-hmm. Tapos buhusan mo ng ano ng uh, alcohol. Tapos uh, yun yung ginagawa nila, no? And then what they and then you fire the the salt. The salt. Uh, it's not salt water, kailangan yung mismong salt ang i-burn mo. That, but this is uh, it's an Indian ritual. Mm-hmm. But some are still using it sa feng shui. But yung mga feng shui practice, which one is the uh, the coin or ritual is the coin and the yung mahaba. Incenso. Yung stick. Yeah. Oh, incenso in Tagalog. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Noted, noted. Thank you, Miss Sophia. Thank you. Ayan. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you really learned something today. At magamit nyo to sa planning nyo for the month of April. And to make your April the most, one of your most, not actually one of your most, your, your thriving month and the next month and the next, next month, okay? So anyways, I hope that the knowledge no, is able to help you a lot to face the challenges within this month. All right? Thank you so much for your time. Yes, oh, thank you. Thank you so much for what oh, I appreciate it. Yes, thank you so much. Oh. Ayun na naman, magdadrama ako. Sige, <laughs> chicken up. Bye. Thank you so much. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.